What's up, y'all? This is DJ Spooky, that subliminal kid, giving y'all a wild style shout out. You're rolling with a podcast that's licensed under the Creative Commons license. So I just want to say, check it. Hi. Thank you for watching Word from Wise, Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode 10. I call this one. Halloween candy. So I'm doing line four, line four again. On one end is the division, on the other end is the festival. Of course, that route is gone now, and now it's the, the two or something. Anyway, so I'm doing line four, and it's Halloween, and I just love Halloween. I love giving away candy. I love eating candy. It's it's just I I love being a bus driver. I, I I back in the day I used to see a whole lot of kids in the Ville of North Portland, and they didn't have no Halloween. They didn't have no costume. <clears throat> Some of them never went trick or treating in their life. You know they didn't have no candy, and but they was on the bus or they saw the bus. They got on the bus. Ain't had no money. Just came on the bus like hmm, you know. <laughs> and so I always have candy for the kids that. In the Ville, that would be at the bus stop looking all sad and look on being pitiful on Halloween. So it, it's my responsibility to drive safe and maintain the schedule, you know. And uh, it's just a, a little community service thing. I love, I love people. And I was, a, I was a child once, and I love Halloween. And I never stopped loving Halloween. I never grew up. <laughs> okay, so. This Halloween in particular, I was deadheading, which means I was not in service. I wasn't picking up any customers, no passengers, just going from the garage. I was deadheading from the go the garage to the starting point, which was going to be the Gresham Transit Center, all the way out to North Portland to St. John's, and then back to Gresham, and then I was going to be done, I think. Or I might have did another a half a trip or turned to another route or something. I don't remember now, but... I do remember I was going to be doing that on Halloween. And as I talk, I'm going to, there's going to be a picture that's going to come up. That's a picture of me in uniform on the Halloween day of this story that I'm talking about. So stay tuned for that picture that's going to pop up in a minute, y'all. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> I decided in my dead head that I was going to buy some candy. Now, I know I should be doing that on my own time, but it, I had like a 45 minute window of time. And I and I, the, the grocery store, I go right by the grocery store on the way to the transit center, center where I start, right? So I said, I'm going to park the bus and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to buy enough candies to really bless these babies, you know, on the route from Gresham to North Portland and back. And that's a lot of candy. And, and so there's a grocery store called, well, it was back in the day called Save-A-Lot on Division in about 174th in Division. Now it's a... Uh, uh, Mexican supermercados, and there's a Dutch Brothers with a Dutch Brothers coffee drive through thing in it, okay? And uh, yeah, so the times have changed, and uh, I stopped there to get some candy for the kids. Stop playing with the candy and tell the story. So I stopped there to get candy for the kids. Didn't think nothing of it. I got like five or six, you know, grocery bags filled with candy. And I had the four-way flashes on, and I'm parked right in front of the grocery store. It's a little... It's not even a parking lane. It's like a little shoulder road, but it had like a metal grate, like a like a a drain, and and I and and I, I saw it, and I had and I had parked there before. And I know when you pull out, the bus goes dips down. You know the back the back wheel dips down into that drain. So I said, Angie, when you pull out, pull out and around. Try to try to try to go around as much as you can to get around that drain. That's you know. So, so when I parked there, I had thought about that drain. So anyway, I got in the bus 
And I put all my candy in the in in front of the driver's seat on the floor. I had like four or five bags of candy. I was all excited. I was all happy, y'all. And I didn't have no costume on it. And, and back in the day at TriMet, they would let you wear Halloween costumes. But we had a few bus drivers go too far. You know, they had on uh, stile black stiletto. Uh, I mean, no, she, no, she didn't have on the black stiletto. She had on these black uh, leather boots. And she had on these uh, fishnet stockings. And she said she wished she could wear stilettos, but we're not allowed to wear heels. So she had to wear the boots. And so she had on these fishnet stockings and they came up to here and she had on a little, little mini skirt. And he's like, no. And she just was showing too much. She, she had too much thigh and hip and ass to be wearing that behind the, behind the wheel. So she messed it up for the next, for, for Halloween. They said no costumes. You could wear a mask or you could wear, you know, you know, and they don't care if you get out candy, but no full dress costume. So all I had was the pleasure of giving away candy because if I could have, I would have wore a costume, okay? At least be a witch or something, okay? So anyway, I get the candy in the bus and then I, I get started. I'm looking and and I and I and I and the, I leave the grocery store and I and I hit the drain. I forgot about it when I left, y'all. So I I hit the drain. And when I hit the drain, the side of the bus leaned, and 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 I, and I felt a little bump, but I didn't think anything of it, you know. And so I'm going down the road and and I'm taking the candy out of one bag and opening it up and putting it into another at the stoplights. You know, I'm mixing the candy up. And getting it ready, cause I'm, I put on. I had enough candy, and I, I'm sitting at the bags in the dash, you know, in the windshield. I had a, a big bus windshield. I can put a bag of candy here, bag of candy here, bag of candy here. I can have a couple bags on the side of me for later, you know. I'm just getting it all organized and getting throwing away the garbage that I don't need. And uh, I get to Gresham Transit Center, and I got like 15 or 20 minutes, so I get up, you know, and. I make sure that the bus is clean and, and I'm walking and then I seen this tall white brother. He had to be like seven foot three or something. He was real tall, okay? He was not banged on the on the bus door. He went boom, boom, boom on the glass. And I was so terrified, y'all. I was like, what, what the world? And so I said, the, the bus doesn't leave for like 15, uh, 18 minutes, sir, or whatever it was. Uh, we got 18 minutes, and then I'll let you come in and sit down. I, 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 I'm, I'm getting the bus set up for everybody. And uh, he said, no, you need to open the door. Yeah, I, I got you set up. And I, I opened the door, and, I, and he said, come look at what you did. He said, look at the side of your bus. And I'm going to take a picture. I want, I want you all to take a look at the at picture. And I might not come back in the video. Oh, yeah, I'll come back with the video, but I'm going to take a pause for y'all to look at the picture. I don't know how to do this or splice this in or whatever, but okay. And so what happened was when I pulled off, pulled off from the, from the save a lot supermarket, y'all, the bus, when it went down into that little, that little, little, little drain, the side of the bus cracked a pole. And on that pole was a, was a, I don't know what you call it to this day, a power box. And that power box. He's, and I quote, you knocked out the whole grid. That power box controlled the whole grid for that sec sector of Southeast Portland. Going to get Halloween candy, I blacked out a whole side of a city. <laughs> That's how much I love children. I blacked out a whole sector of the city to get them Halloween candy. I didn't even know it. So he's irate, this tall brother. He's irate. He works for the, the, the PGE Light Company. And he said, you knocked out a whole grid. And and and, uh, uh, and 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 he said, look at your bus. You need to call that in or something, don't you? And so I called it in. I was so embarrassed. Because for one, I wasn't supposed to be stopped there. I was on my route. I wasn't off route. But you're just supposed to, on a deadhead, you're supposed to get in the bus and go from point A to point B. You're supposed to be stopping and shopping, buying candy <laughs> for kids because it's Halloween. And so, you, as you see from the picture on that bus, it was a, it was a nice size dent. And so, normally when you have an accident, not that I normally have one, <laughs> but typically when somebody has an accident, a bus driver has an accident, they they come out, they put you out of service, 
they 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 bring you another bus or something. Do y'all know they made me drive that bus? I drove that bus for eleven hours with that big old yeah, just like that in the side of it. So anyway, that was my Halloween, but it was a great thing because instead of feeling sad. At first, I was embarrassed because people kept saying, hey, something happened to the side of your bus. What's that? Something's wrong with the side of your bus. Like something like what? It looked like a, 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 the hand of Satan himself took it and slapped the side of the bus. And, and then and then uh, the picture doesn't do it justice. And the piece of the, the vent was 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 balled up and, and, and pulled out. They looked kind of like little claws in a way to me. Anyway, and I had to drive that bus all night long with people pointing. And so I had to tell the story all night long of how, and I was I was giving away candy. We was eating candy. I was all hyped up on candy. I was all, and I'm, I'm hyped up on sugared up on candy now, as y'all probably figured out. But I had, you got all sugared up that night and, and gave candy away to the children. And, and a whole bunch of those children were over 21. <laughs> and they would just grab a handful of all ghetto. And I was asking them not to leave rappers on the floor. And uh, they was like, are we safe on this bus? I'm like, yeah, you're safe on this bus. That happened in, when I wasn't in service. He's like, why ain't I giving you a new bus? I said, because, because of where we at. <laughs> this ain't the zoo. This ain't Wall Street. This ain't nothing but, but northeast, the North Portland. Okay, I didn't say all that. <laughs> Hang on, I ain't pro I'm speaking in car. I'm, 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 I'm giving up game now. I'm giving up game. Thank you for listening to my bus story about Halloween candy, where I knocked out a whole power grid in Southeast Portland on my way to Gresham Transit Center, getting candy for the babies in North Portland that get on my bus every Halloween. Thank you, yo. Please subscribe and share the video. Share the video to a friend. Be a friend. Share a video with a friend. I would like to get up to 100 subscribers. I'm at 87 subscribers for over a year now. <laughs> I'm stuck at 87, 85, 80. Keep dipping. Um, please, 100 subscribers would be nice. Share the video. Subscribe and like. Feel free to comment. If I don't reply to your comment, it's because YouTube has some kind of error message. If I didn't give you a heart or a comment, it's a YouTube error, mer a YouTube error message. Because I show love to everybody. I'm sorry for talking with food in my mouth. Thank you for watching Word From Wise Bus Stories, Episode 10, Halloween Candy. Peace.